Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. Here on Designing Spaces, we are always on the lookout for ways that you can improve your home and surroundings. And today, well, it's no exception. DIYers, we're going to take a closer look at restoring wood finishes in and around the house. We also take a look at lifestyle. Today, we go into the kitchen and see how we can get organized with the right tools to make your culinary dreams come true. Now, that sounds like some great ideas for planning, oh, I don't know, the next dinner party? Sounds good. Also, we look at a stylish way to transform your interiors from something a little tired into something lively and stylish. And don't forget, we have a few surprises up our sleeves. You won't want to miss it. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. You know, sometimes we look at a room in the house and realize... This room is boring. Okay, well, I was going to say maybe give it a little bit more pizzazz. Well, refurnishing would be nice, but you know what? Way out of budget. Okay, the answer is simple. Transform the walls. By finding the right wall art, we can very effectively update a room's look and style with color and even get trendy. That's right. Our own Andy Tillis gets into the act. Take a look at this. Your walls. Think of them as blank canvases. Here, you can express your personal taste. For example, with artwork. But lots of people are a bit lost when it comes to choosing wall art. So today, Designing Spaces introduces Tara Fortunato, Chief Merchandising Officer at ICA Home Decor. Tara, thanks for joining us on Designing Spaces. Thank you, Andy. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. And I'd like to introduce you to Amanda, our homeowner. Hello, Amanda. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, Tara, where do we begin? Well, one of the, the first places to start is with wall decor. It's very affordable. You can change it out every season, just as you would update your wardrobe. Well, I want to stay current, but if I'm changing with every season, it sounds like it could get really expensive. It actually would cost a lot less than you think. With just a few dramatic pieces, you can make a very big impact at a low cost. Wow, that sounds fantastic. Why don't we walk through the home and you can point out some okay. suggestions. Sounds great. Great. So Amanda, let's start with your dining room. Mm -hmm. Your existing look is a bit monochromatic. I was thinking we could update the style with adding some wall decor and some color. What colors were you thinking of? Maybe a rich red and burgundy. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds really romantic. Yes, I was also thinking maybe some artwork reflecting some wine and bar images, since it yeah. is in, at the dining room. Yeah, we do entertain in here a lot, so that would be perfect. And another room that we do a lot of entertaining in is the living room. Let's Great. See what you can do okay. with that. Sounds good. So, Amanda, what kind of changes would you like to see in your living room? Well, I really liked the room when I first decorated it, but I've been living with it for a while, and frankly, I'm a little bit bored. I wanted to add color, but... I don't know what color, I don't know how, I need your help. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think color is definitely a good place to start. The room is a bit on the neutral side and traditional, so I think updating it with some current colors that are in the market, such as blue and chocolate, can really add a fresher, more airy look to the room. Mm, I love blue and chocolate. I think that's going to look great. What do you think? Yeah, me too. I love that idea. So why don't you show us what you're going to do with my family room? Sounds great. Let's get started. And this is our family room, and as you can tell, the walls are empty. We haven't gotten around to doing anything with them yet. It's kind of like a blank canvas. Exactly. So why don't we do something fun, bold, and trendy in this room? It is your family room. You spend a lot of time in here watching TV with your family, listening to music, having a good time. So why not make it fun? That sounds great. What are you thinking? I'm thinking British Invasion with a touch of nostalgia. Yeah, that's great. And I have one last request. I have an office upstairs that needs a little bit of help. Do you have some time for that? Absolutely. Let's go take a look. Okay. You know, I've always felt that this office was really masculine. And I work here, too, so I want something that I feel comfortable with. Well, I can certainly understand that. If you're working in this room as well, you want to be comfortable. And I think we can certainly find some wall decor to transform the space into something a bit more unisex. Not too feminine and not too masculine. Well, that sounds great. You've had some wonderful ideas all day for every room in the house. Where do you suggest that we go to get this art? Let's go to Bed Bath & Beyond. They have an amazing assortment of wall decor that can really transform any room in the house. Let's go. I love it there. Wow, look at 
with the selection? How do we choose? Well, let's start with one room at a time. We've taken our measurements. We know what themes we're looking for, so let's just start picking. I think these coastal blue pieces are fantastic for the office. I love them. Hey, look, there's that wine that you were talking about. Oh, I think these are fabulous. It's the red that we're looking for mixed with a little bit of burgundy, and I think they'll give us the romance that we'd like to have in the dining room. We also have two dramatic pieces that would be fantastic for the side walls. Wow, look at this. Keep calm and carry on. This is the British Invasion stuff you were talking about. Exactly. This would be so much fun for the family room. Yeah, it's really trendy. And this piece would be fantastic over the sofa. We have picked out some great pieces. Let's get a shopping cart and get back to the house. Wow, Tara, this looks fantastic. It looks like a completely new house. Thank you. It certainly was a lot of fun doing it. Was it was great. Amanda, what do you think? I love it. I feel like it really reflects my personality. I mean, the whole house looks like a different house. I'm so happy that you're pleased with it. I think it looks great. I love it too. I think the color brought a lot to the home. And as you can tell, it was easy, affordable, with just a few pieces of wall decor, you can transform a look. Now, where do you find your artists? We find most of our artists through our publishing division, which is called Art in Motion. And once we publish those artists, we then sell their beautiful artwork across the world into 60 countries. And where can our viewers go if they'd like to find a list of retailers that offer your art? If they want more information about our company, they can go on ICA's website, which is ICA-art.com. Thanks again for being here, and thanks so much to ICA for all these beautiful items. Well, thank you. It was a pleasure being here. Amanda, thanks again for letting us in your home. Absolutely. Thank you for coming. It was a pleasure. If you'd like to see this segment again, you can always log on to our website, designingspaces.tv, where we'll provide a link to artinmotion.com and ICA Home Decor. For Designing Spaces, I'm Andy Tillis. You know, the time has flown by today, you know, and we don't even have enough time to squeeze in one more segment. But not to worry. We have even more Designing Spaces coming your way soon. We also have Kids Spaces. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Think Green. That's coming up as well. Looks like we're going to be busy. Definitely. But for now, it's time to say goodbye. And until next time, I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you later. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.